did you do that? I can make anything you like. Turkish delight? Edmund, I would very much like to meet the rest of your family. I can make that. I have got to know what a Turkish delight tastes like. What's up, hungry people? Today, we're going through the wardrobe to explore the magical world of Narnia. I've always wondered what a Turkish delight tasted like, ever since I read the books as a kid, and even more so since the movie. So today, I'm determined to recreate one of the most iconic treats from the Chronicles of Narnia. And while you're here, don't forget to leave a request for a fictional feast you'd like to see come to life in the comments below. We'll start by combining sugar with citric acid and water in a heavy bottom pot over medium-high heat. Give it a little whiskey whisk until the sugar has dissolved and the mixture is becoming syrupy. We then want to bring the syrup to 250 to 255 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the soft ball state of sugar. I recommend using a thermometer during this step to make sure you get the temperature bang on. Too hot and the Turkish delights will be hard. And if the syrup isn't hot enough, the Turkish delights won't set up at all. Next, we'll shake up a cornstarch slurry and very slowly whisk it into the syrup mixture. Be sure to whisk continuously so no clumps begin to form. Within a couple minutes, the slurry will cause the sugar syrup to become gelatinous. We're looking to get it to be about the consistency of petroleum jelly, as appetizing as that sounds. At this stage, the mixture is called locum. Continue mixing the locum until it is a light amber shade of yellow, stirring every 10 minutes or so so that the locum doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. This process can take about an hour, so patience is key to the perfect locum. Traditionally, and in the Chronicles of Narnia, Turkish delights are rose water flavored. Now, I didn't want to feel like I was eating perfume, so I made mine fruit punch flavored. But feel free to flavor your Turkish delights to your preference. To match the color in the movies, I made mine red, but Turkish delights come in every color from green to purple. I then had my hubby help me scoop the Turkish delights into a pan lined with parchment. Be sure to spread the locum into an even layer in the pan and then leave it to set at room temperature for about 10 hours. I don't recommend putting the Turkish delights into the fridge to set because this will cause the Turkish delights to sweat. When the Turkish delights have firmed up, the entire slab can be removed from the pan and placed onto a cutting board dusted with cornstarch. Dust the top of the slab with more cornstarch before cutting the Turkish delights into bite-sized pieces. Finally, we'll dredge the pieces in powdered sugar before serving them up to unsuspecting children. Turkish delights are not as sweet as you would think considering they are made out of sugar and starch. Their texture lands somewhere between jello, jam, and gummy treats. It's certainly a unique treat to taste test while watching the Chronicles of Narnia. What fictional feast should I make next? Let me know in the comments. If you ever get hungry, head on over to thestarvingchefblog.com where you can find this recipe and many others with step-by-step -step instructions. And if you like this recipe, don't forget to flip that sub button and ring that inner bell so you can be notified of my latest recipes and foodie adventures that I post almost every week. I hope you all enjoyed. And this way for your num-nums.